Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we have a special treat. We have an unboxing and sort of first look at the new Surface devices. We have the Surface Laptop Studio here today and we are going to give it an unbox. So as you can see, already started the job here. Uh, I am recording this voiceover after the fact because... Uh, I was lazy and didn't do it live. But here we are, <laughs> unboxing the device. Nice wrapping there that says Windows 11 on the front. So let's waste no more time. Let's take the lid off here and uh, see the device for the first time. Could you imagine if it wasn't in the box? That would be shocking. Nope, here it is. It is in the box, luckily for us. This is like the best part of any products ever, getting it out of the box for the first time. Very exciting stuff. Let's just sort of take a moment to appreciate it in its pristine condition before we unwrap it and start putting our gross fingers all over it. Let's take a look at what's in the box. We have our documentation, as always. Not much here, just a piece of paper that says Surface Laptop Studio, as well as our warranty information. And a blank sort of card bit here with a nice little logo on it. That's nice. As always, a waste of piece of paper that you're just going to throw away. Oh, actually, no, look, there's some stuff in it. I did forget about this bit. There's actually a little bit of documentation that shows you how to use the three different postures, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, we also have our charging brick here. This is a 102 watt power brick. Uh, this is not the 127 watt power brick that the Surface Book 3 came with, but it's still more powerful than, say, the Surface Pros, which comes with, I think, a 65 watt power brick. Anyway, let's tidy this up here and uh, get to the main event. This is the Surface Laptop Studio, of course. Let's uh, take the wrapping off here. Uh, it's always a fun part of any unboxing. Uh, it works well, <laughs> the, the wrapping. It does its job, uh, but taking it off is always very satisfying. And there we are. That is the Surface Laptop Studio, unwrapped, fully exposed to the world and its elements. So yeah, let's lift it up and as you can see we have a piece of recyclable paper which is sort of protecting the screen and the keyboard uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, and there we are. So let's uh, sort of take a look at the device itself. We have two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports on the left here as well as you can also see the sort of staged design that this laptop has. Very unique design but I think it looks really nice. We also have the back of the device here. No ports there but I figured I'd show it to you because why not. And then on the right side we're here we have the Surface Connect port as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Um, and that's basically all there is to it on this device. You can remove the base. I don't know how, but you can do it and replace the SSD. Though Microsoft doesn't advise you do that. They That's really more for trained technicians and whatnot. But it is possible on this device. However, I feel like most people probably won't do that. So here's the Surface Slim Pen 2. Uh, it doesn't come with the device, but it is an optional accessory and it does connect to the bottom of the device here and does wirelessly charge it as well. The magnets are very strong, so this isn't going to go anywhere in your bag and stuff. And even using it day to day, I've been using it for a few days now. It doesn't fall off. Uh, here we are moving between the different modes. This is stage mode here. And then of course we have studio mode, which lays the display down. And that's great for if you're an artist or something and you want to do some drawing, laying the, the device down in this sort of draft board mode is really nice. And you can open up say your favorite drawing app of choice. I use Microsoft Paints because I am the most professional artist on the planet. Uh, fun fact, I can't draw at all. So this is gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, this works really well. Now the Surface Slim Pen 2, we'll briefly talk about it, does support haptics. That's only compatible with the Surface Laptop Studio and the Surface Pro 8. However. Um, paint doesn't support the haptics that's supported in a number of apps not all of them will support haptics at least right now but apps like at photoshop and uh, the microsoft whiteboard app works as expected with the haptics uh, here's what it looks like from behind when you're in stage mode it looks kind of like a massive surface pro in case you were wondering uh, i think it looks really nice and the magnets themselves are actually really strong uh, when moving between stage and sort of i guess laptop mode um, there's very satisfying click to them and stuff i'll show you that now So like I said, the magnets there are super strong and feel really satisfying to use. There's also magnets that guide it into this stage mode so the screen doesn't sort of move around as you're using it. And then of course there are also magnets when you lay it flat as well to keep things in place, which is super fun. Uh, the actual hinge, the middle hinge on the screen that allows it to move into stage mode isn't friction. It's, it's not a friction hinge, so it's loose. Uh, so it moves around stuff, which is why the magnets are there to sort of guide it into that stage mode. But I figured that was quite interesting. In the marketing material, it sort of looks like a standard Surface Pro hinge, but it's not. It's a, I guess, a floppy hinge, if you'd, if you'd like to describe it as so. 
Typing on this device is amazing. This might be the best keyboard uh, Surface has ever done. Uh, I'll show you a sort of typing test in a second with sound so you can hear what it sounds like. It's so satisfying, it really is. The keyboard really is amazing. I think it might be the best part of this device. Uh, here's another look at the sort of weird staged design as I like to call it. I think it looks really nice. In person, it doesn't look as weird as it does in the photos. Uh, I know if you're looking at a render or, or a picture of it online, it looks kind of odd, but in reality, it looks absolutely fine, I think. Uh, I have no complaints. In fact, I think it makes it look unique, which is kind of the whole point of Surface. Another interesting detail, uh, the display has rounded corners, which does cut off some content. So if you have something in the very corner of the device, it will cut it off ever so slightly. But I thought that was an interesting design choice. They're very round, very round, too round even. Now, lastly, I did want to quickly walk through the different haptic touchpad uh, options on Surface Laptop Studio. Uh, for those who don't know, the Laptop Studio has a haptic touchpad, which means the actual touchpad itself doesn't move. Instead, vibrations happen underneath it when you click down. There are four levels, 100%, 75%, 50%, and 25%. And, uh, and they do sort of have a different audible click to them, so I'll just play them to you now. Lastly, I did want to mention that the, the hinge under the display is actually covered in this sort of weird fabric, which I thought was a surprise. You would expect it to be metal, but no, it's actually covered in fabric, which is pretty cool. So there you have it, guys. That's a quick look at the Surface Laptop Studio unboxing and first impressions. This is a really nice laptop. It certainly is a successor to the Surface Book. I'm enjoying my time with it. We have a full review on Windows Central written by Daniel Rubino that I definitely suggest you check out if you're interested in this device. We go into benchmarks and all kinds of interesting things. So make sure you give that a read. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one.